I am an agricultural ecosystem ecologist. I'm a soil microbiologist. I am an ecosystem scientist. I study insects. We've got our range guys, uh, Richard uh, and Jason from Michigan. We are a very diverse team and we are here today trying to answer the big picture question, can grazing management affect climate change? There's a lot of different ways that you can produce beef and some farmers have been able to produce beef by grazing animals on grassland the whole way through. I'm producing more than twice as many pounds of beef per acre as the neighbors are, but by using the cattle with a high stock density, I get a uniform distribution of the manure and I'm feeding the soil natural fertilizer in that. And it's not cost me anything. Much smarter people than I am uh, have developed uh, holistic grazing models, right? Versus continuous grazing. They're moving their cows more often and it works within what used to happen on the landscape. One of the great things about moving your cattle frequently and relying on what Mother Nature gives you is that you become, by nature, much more observant. My attention is immediately drawn to the grass, to the soil, to the ground. I want to see what's going on here. They are innovating and changing how we can think about agriculture, and they're making it happen. And a lot of times the research ends up lagging behind the innovative farmers. Personally, I've learned to just take a step back and look at what these guys are doing. 